Songs of Pain is the first album by folk singer-songwriter Daniel Johnston, recorded on a simple tape recorder and released on compact cassette. Johnston recorded these songs in the basement of his parents' house in West Virginia. It was recorded in 1980 and 1981, and handed out to friends by Johnston. It was re-released on cassette by Stress Records in 1988, and on compact disc in 2003 by the label Dual Tone, together with more Songs of Pain as Early Recordings Volume 1. Songs of Pain was recorded between 1980 and 1981 during Daniel Johnston's freshman, sophomore and junior year studying at Kent State University in East Liverpool, Ohio. During this period, Johnston lived in his parents' basement in West Virginia, where he would make recordings to share with friends and fellow students. According to Douglas Wolk, writing for Pitchfork, the album was compiled for musician-slash-painter Katie McCarty, who met Johnston circa 1985. Although Billboard mentions that Johnston began distributing Songs of Pain when he moved to Houston, Texas in 1983. Many of the album's lyrics refer to Lori Allen, Johnston's crush, who shared the same first-year classes before moving to Florida to marry an undertaker. The lyrics to Grievances refer to his brief reunion with her at a funeral held in Florida. The album would be released in 1988 by Stress Records. All songs feature Johnston on vocals and piano, except for premarital sex, where he plays the organ. The opening track, Grievances, introduces themes that reoccur throughout Johnston's career. He sings about his unrequited love for the librarian, which refers to a girl named Lori Allen who has functioned as a muse in many of Johnston's songs, this has been described as the quintessential Daniel Johnston song, including by Johnston himself. The lyrical and the musical themes of the song have been alluded to in later works, some examples include Museum of Love which features an identical chord progression in its verses. As well as Love Defined, which features part of the same progression during the line Love does not insist on its own way. The word grievances has also been reused in the song title Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Your Grievances. Other themes on the album are premarital sex, Christianity and cannabis. Between some of the songs are recorded confrontations between Johnston and his mother. Speaking on the The Goat Show, Johnston implies this was an act he and his mother had been working on this act for about 20 years. David Raposa for Pitchfork noted an influence from the Kinks Lola on the track Wicked Will, and Billboard magazine compared urge to material by Plastic Ono Band, as well as Joy Without Pleasure to the prim songwriting of Paul McCartney. In a 2003 review of the Songs of Pain CD compilation, David Raposa for Pitchfork discussed the album's tracks positively. Describing the material as chilling, jaunty and happy-go-lucky. In Pitchfork's 2010 review of the story of an artist, Douglas Wolfe described Never Relaxed as the funniest thing that Johnston ever recorded. And Living Life as a bloodied but unbowed power pop tune. Wolk also compared the album to more songs of pain, which he called a more accomplished if less bracing take on a lot of the same themes. On Billboard's 12 Essential Daniel Johnston Tracks article, both Urge and Joy Without Pleasure were included. Willoughby Tom, writing for The Observer's Retrospective on Daniel Johnston, described songs of pain favorably, calling it emotional and intensely beautiful, praising its sincerity, truth, and simplistic lyrics. In July of 2021, the RO2 Gallery in Dallas, Texas, hosted an exhibition of Johnston's art named after the album, Story of an Artist and Songs of Pain. In Hi How Are You, a book written on Johnston's career, Songs of Pain was listed as one of Kathy McCarty's most favorite albums by the artist and indeed included five songs from the album on her 1994 tribute album Dead Dog's Eyeball. The following year, American alternative rock band P covered I Save Cigarette Butts on their self-titled album. On the late great Daniel Johnston, Discovered Covered, an official tribute to Johnston released in 2004, American rock band Eels covered Living Life and Vic Chestnut covered Like a Monkey in a Zoo. In 2006, punk supergroup Osaka Popstar covered Wicked World for their album Osaka Popstar and the American Legends of Punk. However, it was previously featured on the album Rico Dis the Anthology three years earlier. Also in 2006, Teenage Fan Club and Jad Fair released a cover of Monkey in a Zoo as a 7-inch single. In 2013 Cheap Girls released a limited edition CDR album titled Demos, Covers, Alternates, 2007-2013 featuring a cover of I Save Cigarette Butts. Also in that same year, Adrian Crowley and James Yorkston released a short tribute album to Daniel Johnston, featuring Like a Monkey in a Zoo. All tracks are written by Daniel Johnston. All tracks produced by Johnston. Thanks for watching.